Don't jump off the cliff. Don't jump. I might have to dismount. I'm going to have to dismount because otherwise... No, 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 no. Stop running. Stop running. I'm heavy. It is a beautiful, wet, rainy, moist day today. And there's a little bit of a booty shake for you. So what we're going to be doing today is you can probably tell by the title, unless things have changed. You Tyrannus Taming. We need to do two birds with one stone. Number one, we need UT eggs to get extraordinary kibble or exceptional. Whichever the cyan color one is. We use that kibble to tame us some filers because I definitely want to get us a better filer. But I also need a Uteranus because we're going to be taking them into bosses. Uh, do we take them into the Overseer? I'm not sure. But pretty much they buff your creatures, make them stronger. So it's always good to have them around. So we need like a good level one for that because obviously we'll probably get like imprint ones later down the line. But we also need them for kibble. So if we can get a nice high level one today, we can then breed that and use its babies as um, kibble ones and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, we're going to get in a UT. And I'm absolutely terrified because it's not something I normally do. Um, trap taming isn't really a thing. I mean, it still kind of is, but it's not as easy as it used to be. I'm actually going to wing this and try and not do it without a trap, which sounds crazy, but I reckon we can do it. I don't think we need a trap. Between me and Cove... And some of these Trank Darts, which I might need a few more. I don't think we're going to need a trap. I think we will we'll be able to do this. So, uh, before we do that, though, I have got a few more Wishbones. I'm actually saving up so we can get the skins and stuff. I only have, like, 30, so... I do want to just crack open two Chibis because I'm addicted. I'm addicted to it. So, before we go any further, we're just going to hop into here. And we're just going to crack open two regular ones. That's it. So, boom and boom we're just gonna see what we get from here and a snail okay i like that i, I like that a lot actually and a mush chops okay they're actually good i actually like them creatures okay let's check them out real quick so mini axe come off let's go mush chops first don't need to name you i actually love the mush oh look at him why is his head so oh my god okay he might single-handedly be the greatest chibi I've ever seen. Holy shit, that's amazing. Why is his eyes like that? Why has he got an underbite? Oh, he's precious. I love him. I, I actually love him so much. Okay, that might be the best one. I, if I remember correctly, the snails are good as well, though, right? Uh, okay, he's kind of in the ground, but he's got like a big noggin. I didn't, we didn't really get the best colors on you. Oh, no, that Mosh Chops is nearly as good. Probably even better than the Dilophosaurus, to be fair. Look at my boy. Oh, I love him. He's actually a big chibi as well. You are, yeah, you're huge. I'm going to say, I think I've said it for the past, like, four episodes. We need a mod that makes chibis rideable. I need a chib. I need this, the size of a normal Mosh Chops. But I just want it to look like that. I think that would be amazing. Oh, God. I love cheese. I, I, it's the best thing they've ever added to the game. It really is. All right. Let's chuck them away so I don't lose them. I will put them on a display at some point. Do I have any... Um, right. I think we need to make a few more Trank Arrows, which we really don't have much arrows. I think I just, like, throw them away all the time. Let's make, like, an extra 40 of them, I would say. And then we should be good to go. So the way we're going to tame the UT, we're just going to use meat. Um, we need we need extraordinary kibble to tame the UT. And to get extraordinary kibble, you need a UT or the little ducks, the Hesperonis. So we're going to go for the UT. So like I said, we're going to head out on Cove. We're going to shoot Tranks at it. And we're just going to hope for the best and see what kind of shit we get up to today. So before we do go any further, if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure you are whacking a like on the video. Make sure you are subscribing. You're ringing the bell. And every notifications, following them social medias, you know what to do by now. But if you do want to support the channel that little bit more, you can become a channel member or a Patreon. It's as little as $1 for a month. You get an exclusive video every Friday. The only members and patrons can watch exclusive video. I've been doing a game called Dino Trauma, which is a horror dinosaur shooting game. It's amazing. Can't wait. Love that. And then we've also been doing the Fears of Fathom, which is like horror stories from Reddit, but they're told in game form. And that's really fun. So, yeah, supports the channel when you get some like exclusive content as well. And I just whacked my elbow on the desk and that was my funny bone and it really wasn't funny. Ugh, okay, we're going to power through it. It's fine. Um, yeah, also, if you need a server, link below. Also, Axeman hoodies. Get them now. 
or your square or a circle. I don't know what that saying was. I forget. Anyways, let's head out. <laughs> so we've got fur on. We've got our rider to keep us warm. We've got trank arrows. And we should just be good to go. So let me... Uh, okay, hello. You, you, why did you, like, render in from really far away? Wow. Your pinky purple. That is gorgeous. Uh, Leveling-wise, obviously, we're looking for max level. For the kibble farm, they don't really need to be a high level, but there's potential that we could use this UT to breed in the future. So we kind of, we want it as a decent level, if that makes any sense to anyone. Now, when we did the cave the other day, I do believe I saw a UT fighting shit down here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be here anymore, so it probably got killed. So it looks like we're probably going to be heading up through the forest. Uh, that was a UT, by the way. Uh, what direction was it? Was it down there? Yeah, it's down there. You know what's funny? I remember, um, how long ago was it? Maybe, uh, last year. I can't remember what game I was playing, but you know when you have, like, the directional sound? I remember I heard something in my left ear, and the creature was on my right, and everyone in the comments was like, how did Axe not hear that? It clearly came from the right. For the longest time, I've had my headphones in the wrong ears. You know you have a right and a left? Yeah. Like, literally, last month, I changed it. I looked, and I was like, oh, that explains a lot. So, yeah, I was hearing things from my left, but they were coming through the right earphone, if that makes sense. They were just back to front. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. All right, where's this UT at? Uh, there's also an alpha somewhere. That's terrifying. Oh, there it is. Found it. All right, well, I'm going to kill you before that UT gets here. It's level 20. We can take you on. You are no match for me and my otter. Is my otter even damaging it? No. I heard it try and bite, though. Oh, we did. There we go. 19 damage from the otter. Good shit. Um, can't see what's happening. I'm not going to push me off the cliff, are you? Look at that. 289 damage. Alpha Carno. Getting absolutely shat upon by a barret. So, I don't know if any of you saw my tweet last week, but I love alpha creatures. I think they're really cool. Wouldn't it be cool? I know there is a mod out there, but, like, officially, would it not be cool if we had an alpha for, like, every biome? It's like, in the snow, you'd have an alpha UT. In the redwoods, maybe an alpha bear. Alpha Sarko in the swamp. Um, I don't know what else would be. Alpha Quetzal that would actually come, like, fly down and attack you. I think that would be so cool. I know there's a mod, alpha everything, but I don't want everything to be an alpha. I just want, like, a sort of a main boss. I also said maybe even alpha cave creatures. Imagine getting to the artifacts and there's, like, a mini boss you've got to fight. I think that'd be really cool. Alpha herbivores, like an alpha trike. I don't know. I just think that'd be really sick, in my opinion. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. But, yeah, I tweeted and a lot of people were, you know, had the same feelings and thoughts. And I was like, yeah, if we put enough pressure on wildcard, maybe we can, uh, <laughs> we can get that implemented at some point. God, an alpha sarko in the swamp would be terrifying, but so cool. All right. Uh, boosted drop. There were... Hmm. Hmm. There were so many UTs here the other day. But, of course... Now we're looking for them. They're not going to be here. All right. I'll tell you what, then. Let me just press on. I'm going to see if I can work my way around to that booster drop. Uh, I'll bring it back if we find something of interest. Because right now... Snow's just chilling. We're just vibing out here. Just having a good time. Just just chatting shit to each other, really, ain't we? It is just so silent in the snow today. I know we always joke and meme about, you know, once you're looking for an art creature and they just don't spawn. Not seen a UT. Not seen one. I've went around the coast because I accidentally jumped in the water to get that boosted blue drop. Uh, speaking of the devil. Okay, hang on. <laughs> well... You know, we've spoken into existence. Uh, don't know what level you are yet. And 45. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to kill this guy. Like, he'd be good for a kibble team, but I do want some better. I want to do... Kill two birds with one stone. That thing. Ah! Right. Uh, did we get him? Uh, I was hoping we would kill him before um, he did the fear roar. He's nearly dead as well. If that had a one in front of it, though, one four five would have been amazing. Um, okay. We are getting hurt a little bit. This Carno is just peppering me, maybe? Yeah, he's really peppering me. Madonna doesn't want to respond. Well, Cove, maybe you should. Right. 
Beauty's dead. What level is this damn Carno? Jesus. Okay. They actually really hurt me. Like, really badly hurt me. Um, we have a bit of fish meat. Oh, Carno. Whatever you are, Arj, you get out of here. You might have to go and jump in the water and eat some fish. This is what we're looking for. All right. Fish, piranhas. If we eat fish, we heal up. Uh, fish, come here. Nice. Look at that health going up. Not many fish in here. Piranhas. Oh, yeah. This is why I love the Barry, man. So quick just to heal up when we need it. Practically full health. There was just a little more fish in this massive, huge river. That'd be great. I hear you, fish. I hear you and I see you. There we go. Nice. Practically full health. All right. Back to the Utrana search. All right. We've got a yellow drop. Let's see what goodness we get out of this. A uh, bunch of saddles. I don't think there's any saddles we're looking for, though. They're all blueprints, which is good. Iguanodon. Diplo, not a blueprint. Uh, Mammoth and Megaloceros. Okay, we are continuing the bad luck with the drops and continuing the bad luck of not seeing a single goddamn beauty when I need it. And uh, we'll take this. That ah, <laughs> I saw you, Mr. Plovia. Where are you gone? Get here. Wait, that's not a Plovia. That's the same If you're a Plovia, though. Hey, yeah, try and jump out of me. Stupid head. Wait, is this another one? Screw it. We'll take this as well. All right, boom. And just more Mei Ying stuff. God, I can't wait to see Mei Ying in the um, the anime, the, the show, the arc show thing, TV show. That's going to be so freaking cool. UT, we got one. And level 15. Okay, let's kill you because we need to get rid of all of the ones we don't want now. Because clearly only low level ones are spawning. Need to kill you quickly. Nice. Got him before he could fear auras. Good shit, Cove. Doing well. Alright, so mammoth, but you started this fight. You hit me. I didn't hit you. 438 damage. Uh, is that headshot, right? He's really doing 292 on you. And next UT all the way down. Then we're looking at level 10. Wow. We're getting worse. Alright, I mean, I probably won't even have to kill this one. I'm sure the mammoths were there. There's just like a whole mammoth war going on here. Try and get you. And there's him done. Nice. There's two UTs. I think there's one in that direction and one in this direction. I think it's behind that rock. I saw a little tail. This is it. This is the one. There he is. Can we get a sneaky level on you? Level 20. Okay, it's not that one. Pretty sure there's one to the right. Let's kill you real quick. Level 20. All right, pretty confident. There's one up here somewhere. And this is going to be the one. I've got a feeling in my jellies. This is what I'm going to look for. One, two, five, day are done. It's not a bad little level. Look at him. He's like a little tank. All right, you, you die, sir. Sir, please die. Please die. Okay, this guy had a lot of health. Jeez. God damn. All right, so I definitely heard a roar from this direction somewhere. Uh, there's a Carno. How many Carnos mean beauties? Also, it might be an explorer note here. Uh, there's two Carnos. Beauty die? Huh, definitely heard it. I don't think I'm going to die to one day, though, though. Uh, Explorer note just there. Oh, no, yeah, I hear it still. I think it's to my left now. Uh, sick. Wait, where's by me? Hey, Daydon. Don't do that. 135. Okay, well, we've got nice high-level Daydons. Just not nice-level Uters. There it is. That's what we're looking for. Leveling wise. One, two, five. Okay, that's what we're looking for, boys. That is the one we are looking for. Were you the one with them Carnos? I think it probably was, right? I mean, if you could be stuck there. Oh, okay. Maybe not. All right. So, he's not, like, attacking us or anything. He's, like, actually running away. Are you, like, torpored already or something? 
So what's going to happen, he's going to fear roar us. We're going to run away. We then just, we just keep on him. As soon as we run fear roar, we start shooting him again. And it's going to be that simple, hopefully. I mean, I'm sure we're going to lose him. But I feel like we've killed most of the stuff around here. Killed a bunch of pigs. Don't jump off the cliff. Don't jump. I might have to dismount. I'm going to have to dismount because otherwise... No, 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 no. Stop running. Stop running. I'm heavy. Cove. I am heavy. Don't. I know you're scared. Don't jump off cliffs. Rule number one of taming UT. We don't jump off cliffs. Okay. Rule number two of UT taming. Try and remember where it was. So that was the explorer note. There's a poop. Sick. I hear footsteps. Is he down here now? Oh, wait, there he is. I see him. I see him. Hey, yeah. Come here, sir. Pig, get out of here. All right, I'm just going to put Torpor into you. Oh, yeah, let me stay here. This is good. You're doing quite a lot of damage, but I'm hopefully you're going to be stopped running away soon. Uh, he's actually eating the pig, which he should be able to kill. Let me help you. There you go. Eat the pig. Or just stand there. This is good. This is very good. Okay. Well, doing it the Axeman way is definitely working. Look at this. Have we, like, bugged him out? Oh, no, he's running now. Okay, now he's... Yeah, that, that's good. Oh, he's going to roar us. Okay. What we don't want to happen now... Uh, that's kind of good. Is him to torpor run whilst we're running away? We want to kind of get stuck on everything, if that's possible. For once, Cove, I want you to be stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get stuck. Okay, and boom. All right, still there. So we got a bunch of shots in him. Because he got stuck, which is nice. Okay, and I'm inside of you. I'm still inside of you. Are you running? I feel like you're running. Look at you, big fuzzy boy. And it comes. Okay, now that was the fear roar. He roared a tree down? I can't see. I don't know what's the tree and what's the dinosaur. Okay, you're the dinosaur. No, 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 no. Otter, don't eat him. Here comes the fear roar. Okay. If you can follow me and eat me. Yep, that's good. Do that. And let me get stuck on this rock here. Perfect, sort of. Okay, no, Cove. Stop running that way. Do not jump off the cliff. Do not jump off the cliff, Cove. You are a dickhole. Has anyone ever told you that? Can't see. Okay. Right, let's run all the way back up the cliff. <laughs> oh, Plovia. That would have been unfortunate. Okay, right. I need you to drop all this. I need you to hold all of this for a minute. Save two. Now's not the time. Okay. So let's head back up. Let's make sure this is loaded. So Cove, rule number one, remember? We don't jump off cliffs. If you could remember that. All right, I hear him roaring. I think he's back down this way, was it? I, think he, I don't know if he was chasing us. He started making his way down the cliff. Uh really don't want him to eat the mammoths. Okay. Mr. UT. Where did you go? So this is exactly why traps are better for taming. They're not as fun. But yeah, we wouldn't lose him. And now the issue is once we find him again, he's going to just fear roar us straight away. Uh, I actually have no idea where he is. There is a chance he could be asleep. Uh, let's do that. Uh, I forget how we do this. Um, Tame in progress. Okay, so he's not knocked out. So he's still around here somewhere. Oh, is that him? Oh, is that a different one? That looks like he's got Carnos again. It's a 55. Okay. So, there's like... This must be a little hot spot for you, Is Alright, Cove. Remember rule number one. We don't jump off cliffs. 
All right. I mean, just completely ignore me then. See, this would have been nice when we was taming. Get stuck down here. That would have been sick. Wouldn't have jumped to any cliffs. Wouldn't have lost me guy. Maybe this will help us run into the one we're looking for, though. All right. Um... Uh, where are... Oh, hello. How are you doing? I heard two roars. You're the 55. Can I kill you before you fear roar me? I sure can. Okay. So that one's gone. Still got a 125 somewhere out there. I have a weird feeling it probably jumped down after us or maybe not jump down but like started to walk around the cliff i'm trying to see if i see any movement in the tree line at all that's definitely a okay that's an archer like what if he ran around there it is there it is boys i was right he ran around okay is that gonna hit him don't hit the megatherium did we actually hit no i hit the megatherium no i didn't I actually hit him. Wow, I'm a god. I'm an actual god. Okay. Let's go, sir. Let's go. Okay. Uh, that missed. And here comes a fear roar. Okay. Well, I can't run off a cliff this time. What's my hell? Can I eat whilst... Oh, give me that. I don't have any fish on me anymore. Oh, he's stuck. I'm stuck. This is good. He's running. He's sort running. Okay, he's going up the hill. This is great, because I can actually see what he's doing. And boom. Okay, now he's stuck. All right, no one move. This is great. And boom. Because then he's not going to fear all us. Okay, so look, just a bit of persistence is all we needed. Yep, get stuck on the tree. Okay, can't see again. God, you know what? I don't know why. He looks cool when he's not in a... Is that another one down there? That is another one down there. Are you the same one? Shit. Oh, crap. This could be bad. This could be bad. They're not going to try and eat him, are they? Okay. Don't follow me, dudes, because I'm after this guy. Oh, don't do that. God damn it. Oh, my God. I'm being eaten by everything now. Okay. Why are you, like, hanging about with these guys now? They're not your friends. They're fake friends. Okay. I, I, my last, like, four shots will miss, which is great. That one missed also. Now I can't see. Well, at least he's getting away from them. Okay. Time to go to sleep, boy. Oh, no! No! Oh, God. I shot him! Oh, God. Whatever you. Oh, I can't see. Uh, your blood F35. Oh, I shot him as he was going down. Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. I should, I was just panicking. Okay, well, he's lost taming effectiveness, and we're going to jump off a cliff again. Cove, stop jumping off cliffs. Okay, I had to get off you. You're going to die. God damn it. <laughs> that's... That's a little frustrating. Um, I guess, should we see how much taming it's lost? Because it's not a perfect one. I'm sure we can find a better. Because pretty much that's going to mean we've essentially probably like tamed a 110. Rather than a 125 with the amount of levels we're going to lose. Where did that dude go? Did he jump off the side? I think he did. Uh, okay, do I have... I do have primes. Am I good just to put some food on my boy? Oh, man. That's... That's frustrated me because we took so long to find this guy. Oh, hello. I don't like this long grass. Okay, I'm just gonna hop off real quick. Chuck some of this into you and then we'll see what the damage is. I think we have to wait for him to eat. Ah, oh, man. That does suck balls, like, massively. Right, let's change to these. Let's shoot him from over here. Let's get this dude out of the way with. Oh, the archer did it for us. Nice. 
Where's this little guy? Level 25, Kano. Alright, well, let's just kill these. So they're not here. It's a 135 Saber. It's a pretty good level. Alright, the UT is actually Eden. And 90%, 56 levels. You know what? It's we, We've lost... Yeah, we've lost 10%. I... So what we could do, we could actually, like, let him wake up. And then we've got to knock him out again. Is that worth them 10 additional levels? Whoa. You're a crazy killer. I think I'll be fine. I think we pretty much count this as... What level were you? 1, 2, 5. We count this as like a level 110. And then the next one we find, it must be a 150. It, it just has to be. <sighs> okay. Well, that's, that's another reason why traps are better. Because we could have taken out more slowly. He wouldn't have run into another UT with a pack of Carnos. And I wouldn't have panicked and kept shooting him really fast. Ah. Oh, well. It is what it is. Let's not dwell on it. Let's not, <laughs> let's not, let's not let it ruin our day. There we are. Right. I'm going to babysit this dude. Uh, in terms of getting home. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a pisser. Sick. All right. Well, yeah. I was, uh, let's see he's all in a little while. And there we are, boys. Mr. UT, Miss UT, whatever you are, has tamed up. So it came out at 181. I mean, is that the end of the world? I don't think so. I really, I mean, you have lost some levels, but in the end of the day, you could just be the kibble one. We might get lucky and get a really good 150 or close to 150, with some really good stats. And then maybe the, that just doesn't matter. Hopefully. Um, right, now, the hard part is getting home. Um, we could go all the way round, cut through, not actually have to go through the snow, but, uh, okay, I guess we're just going to head this way and just see what happens. Let's hope we don't run into any of the UTs and stuff. <laughs> I don't know how strong you actually are. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I mean, like, I enjoyed... Cool. Stuck on a rock already. I enjoyed taming creatures when they're not in the traps. I love just the chaos that happens. Like, it's never just straightforward, like... You know, Cove kept jumping off the cliffs and we ran into another pack of UEs. Like, for me, I find it way more fun to tame them that way rather than um, taming them in a trap and stuff. Uh, there is another U today. You watch this be like a max level. What we're saying? 55. I hear you, Wolves, and I see you, Kano. Let's get all you out of here. All right. Hopefully we don't lose this guy. Yeah, you fear all them all. We good? Uh, right, a lot of stuff down here. Yeah, I guess we're just going to take care of it. We're just going to have to kill everything on, on the way home. I'll try to avoid that dude if we can. All right. Uh, okay. Again, I said I'll try. We'll see what happens. Keep coming, buddy. Keep coming. All right, right behind us. Okay. And at least the is fast. Let's keep with us. Okay, well, I'm going to try my very best to get this dude home. I'll bring you back with any panic situations. If not, then I'll see you at home. All right, Mr. Yuri. Welcome home. Do you fit inside of here? Uh, oh, you do. Okay, I mean, that works. I, I'm going to keep you in here for the time being. Um, sure. How about you go there? Okay, uh, right. We got one. It wasn't the conventional way of doing it, but we got one. Uh, I do want to go and see, actually, do we have... Actually, let's go and check its stats. We've not even checked its stats and stuff yet. Let's go and see if this is decent or what we lost on it. So I'm going to need your slight help because you know stats better than I do. So we got a 181 in the end. Um, it came out with 7,480 health and 326 melee. So is that good? Is that bad? Uh, let me know in the comments for us. I mean, that seems somewhat all right. Okay, next up, I do just want to check to see if we've got a saddle for it. Uh, should that keep him in there? So, uh, I didn't, what gender was it? Can we see? Uh, we'll check. Pretty much, we're going to need an opposite gender of that just to get some eggs. But I would like to have another high level one so we can breed 
and get like a nice imprinted one. All right, do we have a UT saddle? It is time to find out. I don't feel like we do. Let's see. UT. No. What about in here? UT. No. Do we reckon we have a blueprint for one? I'm going to say no, but again, we'll, we'll check, see what's happening. And UT. Okay, no. So we need a UT saddle. We need a Rex saddle. And we need Baryonyx saddle, just because I really want a Baryonyx saddle. Which means what I'll probably do, I know I've got a lot of breeding to do, but I'll probably have to spend like a whole evening just going around getting every single drop I see. Doesn't matter what the color is, I'm just going to have to grab it and see what we get. Um, all right, say so what I'm going to do real quick. Uh, it's only midnight. I want to see what this guy looks like in the daytime because it's really dark and I can't see shit. So, um, yeah, I'll be back in a little while and we'll see what Mr. UT looks like in the day. All right, Mr. Uni, let's have a bit of a better look at you. So, you're pretty much standard UT colors. Like, that's that's what I always see UT look like. God, you do look good, like, looking in the distance. Look at him. So majestic. Nice. All right. So, I mean, it, it was fun. It was fun taming it that way. So we got a boy, uh, which means we are going to go and grab a female at some point. What I'll probably do is as I'm looking around for drops, we'll see if we can like spot one in the wild and then I don't have to like go out search for one. I'll just see one in the wild and then we can like, boom, start the episode, go and grab one. But um, yeah, that means you won't lay eggs at all. So yeah, definitely need, uh, definitely need a female for you. Oh man. All right, well, let's get you back in here for now. Come here, so are you going to fit through the door or are you going to be dumb? No, you're being good, good smarts. All right, you know what? Don't get in that little, that little cubby hole there. You stay just there, big boy. I suppose you do have some red on the top of you, actually. Yeah, UTs are cool. UTs are really cool looking. Uh, we'll definitely play around with them more once we get another one. But that is another, like, little check on the checklist. Checked off. Yeah. <laughs> So we've got two more caves to do. We need to get another UT. Uh, I want to get another Phyla. Got to do a lot of breeding and figure out what we're going to be using for the Swamp Cave and what we're going to be using for the Snow Cave. Someone did tell me we can actually use the Barry for the Swamp Cave. So maybe Cove? Would you be down for that? Because you are pretty freaking amazing. I forgot you had saddles on you. I need to put them away. All right, well, what we're going to do, we're going to wrap it up and call it a day there then. So a successful episode, nice little outing today. If you did enjoy it, make sure you are whacking a like. Make sure you are subscribing, you ring the bell, never the notifications, follow on the social medias, become a channel member or a patron, support the channel that little bit more. $1 for a whole month. Uh, you can also buy some servers if you need any arc servers, link below. Get yourself an Axeman hoodie. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in a bit. See you later.